Yeah, we back with another one with your boy, Jim Jeffries. You understand? This one is part two to the gun control. You know he's official at his delivery. You know what I mean? And in the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe, all right? A lot of y'all not subscribing, but y'all liking it. Come on, man. Show your boy some love. All right, let's go. Second reason. Second reason. Second reason. And this is the big one. I'm foreign. <laughs> And that's pissing the fuck out of you right now. And your brain is on a loop and you can't fucking turn it off. And it's just going around in a circle and you're just going, if you don't like it, go home. If you don't like it, go home. <laughs> and my answer to that is no. <laughs> I came here legally, I pay my taxes, I'll say whatever the fuck I want. Your First Amendment means that I can say the Second Amendment sucks dicks. <laughs> Unless you're an American Indian, you're a fucking immigrant as well. So fuck off. <laughs> People get so precious about it. Like, I understand that to Americans, your constitution is very important. Uh, I respect it, but please understand that every country has one as well. It's no more special than any other constitution. We have one in Australia. I don't know what it says. <laughs> I've never seen it. If there's a problem, we'll check it, but everything's going fine. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I get that the Constitution's important to you. I have had fucking, I get it, right? I've had people come up to me in my face and scream at me in car parks as I'm going, leaving the theatre, going, you cannot change the Second Amendment. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> it's called an amendment. <laughs> like, if you can't change something, it's called an amendment. See, many of you need a thesaurus more than you need a constitution. <laughs> and if you don't know what a thesaurus is, get a dictionary, work your way forward. <laughs> don't think your constitution is set in stone. You've changed things before. You used to have prohibition in there, right? And then people were like, hey, who likes getting fucked up? <laughs> yeah, I like getting fucked up too. Let's get that one out. Let's get that one out. Uh, you used to have this other thing in America called uh, slavery. <laughs> and then Lincoln came along and went, that's it, no more slaves. And 50% of you went, fuck you, don't take my slaves. <laughs> and then the same bullshit arguments came out that you have with guns. Why should I have my slaves taken off me? I'm a responsible slave owner. I am trained in how to use my slaves safely. Just because that guy mistreated his slaves doesn't mean that my rights should be taken away from me. I, I use my slaves to protect my family. I keep my slaves locked in a safe. <laughs> That's the thing. Why should I have my guns taken off me? I've done nothing wrong. That's, look, I agree with you. If you're a responsible gun owner and you don't fuck around with them, then you should be allowed your guns. You really should. But that's not how society works. We have to play to the 1% that are such fuckwits, they ruin it for the rest of us. We have to walk as slow as our slowest person to keep society fucking moving, right? I take drugs like a fucking champion, right? <laughs> We should all be allowed to take fucking drugs, but we can't, can we? Because Sarah took drugs and she stabbed the fucking kids. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks, Sarah, you fucked it up for everyone, right? <laughs> to drive their car as fast as they can do it, right? But we can't because Jonathan got drunk and ran over a family. Thanks, Jonathan! <laughs> now I have to drive at 30, you fucking idiot! <laughs> yes. See, that's the thing. Why should I have my guns taken off me? I'm responsible just because that guy's crazy. Who's to say you're not crazy? That's the thing about crazy people. They don't know they're crazy. <laughs> That's what makes them crazy. <laughs> the only thing you know for sure on this earth is I think, therefore I am. You know that you exist. Anything past that is open to interpretation, right? You know you exist and that's it. Right now, 
I think I'm in Boston talking to 1,200 people. That's what I think I'm doing. But there is a good to fair chance that I'm in a mental home standing in front of a white wall <laughs> going, I hate guns, I hate guns, I hate guns. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, one of the good, the better arguments is, well, if you take the guns away, then only the criminals will have guns. It's not true. The, 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 when they banned the guns in Australia, it worked. When they banned them in Britain, it worked. Okay. That Bushmaster gun that the kid was going to use in Sandy Hook cost like $1,000 America, and you can buy it in Walmart. It'll be delivered to your house. That's it, man. 1000 bucks. Right? That same gun in Australia on the black market costs $34,000. Now, if you have $34,000, you don't need to be a criminal. <laughs> You've got $34,000. You're a great little saver. Keep going. <laughs> so that covers the criminals, but that doesn't cover the people who want to murder your family, that are coming after you and your family. It kind of does, like the people who do the massacres, it covers them because okay, the kid at Colorado who thought he was the Joker, let's say that he had some social issues. <laughs> the kid at Sandy Hook was Asperger's as fuck. <laughs> right? I don't know if you know a lot about the black market, but you can't just rock up at the docks going, guns! <laughs> 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 now I'm going to wrap this up, we won't talk about it anymore now. See, the one thing that I do really agree with, with the right to bear arms, I really agree with that the real reason it was written was so that you could form a militia to fight against the tyrannical government. In case the government became a bunch of cunts, you could all get your guns and fight back. And that's what I was written. Yeah! Because the people are supposed to stick together no matter what, but they have us divided and conquered. You understand what I'm saying? And that made a hell of a lot of sense when it was just muskets. <laughs> but you do know the government has drones, right? You get that? You're bringing guns to a drone fight. <laughs> like, if we went back to muskets, I'm all for it. Keep the Second Amendment. If we all have muskets, Muskets are awesome. Every cat should be carrying a musket with them at all times. You know what's good about the musket? It gives you a lot of time to calm down. <laughs> Someone calls your wife fat and you're like, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> By the time you're done loading that, I, I don't even feel the same way no more. It's over. <laughs> ah, you're not a bad guy. You're all right. <laughs> but on another note, in this country, unfortunately, the way things are going now, listen, guns have been saved a lot of people in a lot of situations, man. You know, like he said, you know, this world ain't great. The world is not great. People do not fly straight. A lot of crooked people out here, you know? So with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like. And definitely stay tuned for some more, all right? I'll see you on the next one. Later.